Hello, in this video we will be showing how we've made this GMC engine water pump in SOLIDWORKS. The first part we have is the shaft and it is very simple to make. It's very basic. We first start by extruding a simple cylinder, nothing too special. Then we fillet the edge to make it smooth and we add the center joint that holds the smaller and uh, bigger radii sides together. And we fillet the other end to complete the part. The next part is the hub, and it is also very, very easy to make, excluding the part with the screw threads. We first start by extruding a simple cylinder and another cylinder. Each one with its respective measurements. This is the cylinder we will make our helix on for the thread track. Then we've made this using a 2D drawing and extruding it with the respective measurements. We've used planes from reference geometry to draw and align the different aspects of the figure. We filleted each one of the edges to make it smooth with one millimeter radius. Here is the type of drawing we used as a tool for our thread. We pierced it onto the helix and did a swept boss base extrude. We did the same thing for all the other smaller holes. The helix comprised of five revolutions at 180 degrees. Next, we will make the outer housing. We begin by extruding a circle to make a cylinder. Then we create another cylinder on top of that cylinder. Next, we make small cylinders all around with respective measurements. For the screw holes and we fillet the front and back sides then we create helixes inside every single one of the screw holes We chamfered the sides to make the small rectangles on the side into supports.
we flooded the corners around every single circle on the edge. Next, we will see how we've made the inner housing part. We first start out with the same two cylinder type of setup. We then extrude the cylinder and make a dome on top. We made rectangles and chamfered them to make them to the exact size of the supports on the side. And we filleted the edges to the respective sizes. We cut extruded in the middle for the shaft to go in. Also we added the last part which was an extra tip on the top. The seal was made in a very easy way, it didn't take too much, it was only an extrude of a circle with the, the correct measurements and filleted on each side. The impeller is the most complicated part to make amongst the others because of its complexity. We start with a thin sheet of one millimeter long, uh, width. Then we create a cylinder in the middle going out. Then we draw the blades using linear sketch pattern. After that we extrude it. We fillet the small corners of every single blade separately. We created the lid on top using a simple swift extrude boss base. And there you have it, that's the last part there is to it.